Uh, without objection, the amendment is considered as read, and the gentlewoman from Virginia is recognized to explain her amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to start by thanking Representatives Lee and Bice for introducing this important bill to improve our understanding of the climate and environmental impacts of abandoned wells and to support their remediation. Methane emissions from oil and gas wells, including abandoned wells, are a driver of short-term climate change, as you've just heard. These legacy sites also pose significant problems to landowners and nearby residents, so I am glad to see bipartisan action to address this issue. Currently, the bill directs the Secretary of Energy to ensure coordination of program activities with institutions of higher education, the Department of Energy National Laboratories, and the private sector. My amendment with Representative Sykes would add impacted communities, including state and local governments and landowners, to the list of stakeholders that should be consulted implementing this demonstration. It is imperative that surrounding communities are considered and have the opportunity to make their voices heard throughout this research, development, and remediation process. Far too often, low-income communities, communities of color, tribal, and indigenous communities bear the brunt of environmental injustice and are left out of the crucial decision-making process. As a matter of fact, in my time as a state legislator representing the Chickahominy tribe and several communities of color, particularly low-income communities, who have been overburdened by energy projects, I heard time and time again that by the time they heard about a project, uh, it was too far down the path for them to have meaningful input. And these communities have experienced disproportionate health and environmental risks caused by oil and toxic chemicals uh, that leak from wells and into the air and contaminating groundwater. It is only through meaningful consultation with impacted communities that policymakers will be able to develop solutions tailored to the unique challenges faced by each community. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment and ensure that impacted communities have a seat at the table along with other stakeholders. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I, lead back. I yield back. The gentlelady yields back.